Residents of Ancillary are earmarked to benefit from a $12.25 million rehabilitation project of the Venus Ancillary Link Road. The project, funded by the European Union, is being managed and executed through the World Bank's Disaster Vulnerability Reduction Project, the DVRP. The road was severely damaged in 2013 following the passage of the Christmas Eve trough. In 2016, the European Union committed to financing its repair under the Senusha post trough program. Speaking at the sword turning ceremony, Prime Minister and Minister for Finance, Economic Development and Youth Economy, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, noted the importance of the project to the community. And the opening of these 12 kilometers of road will open up a whole vista of opportunity for the people of Ansar economies, agriculture, a whole vista of opportunity. So it is, it is significant that we are doing that today and also will help us, and I know in the, in the, in the philosophy of building back better, this road is going to be built better so the effect of climate change can be minimized. So it's a very significant project at a very significant time. The scope of works includes drainage upgrades, culverts, pavement reconstruction, slope stabilization, retaining walls, and landscaping. Claudia Simanuel is the Permanent Secretary in the Department of Economic Development and National Authorizing Officer. The design consultant on the project was Teams Incorporated, which completed the designs after a period of stakeholder consultation and no objection from the World Bank. In keeping with the competitive tendering process, the contract for the execution of the works was awarded to Construction and Industrial Equipment Limited, CIE. The contract was signed on February 16th, 2022, with site possession being February 24th, 2022. The duration of the contract is 12 months, with a planned completion date of February 24th, 2023. The supervising consultant is Teams Incorporated, who emerged out of a competitive tendering process. Minister for Infrastructure, Ports, Transport, Physical Development and Urban Renewal, Honorable Stevenson King, noted that maintaining the national road network is critical to sustaining economic activity. Moreover, ensuring Senusian involvement in the project, the senior minister said, builds capacity in country as government seeks to open up the local economic space. A St. Lucian contractor, which has over the years provided the kind of quality work in this country and one that I believe will deliver and maintain the reputation and the performance which he has given to the people of this country over the years. This road project is expected to impact 400 households and will reopen the area to agriculture, which is the predominant economic activity in the area. But I believe it will do even more than just opening up to agriculture as we begin to position ourselves for the community tourism program the European Union Ambassador to the OECS, Her Excellency Malgozanta Waskilaska, reiterated the European Union's commitment to supporting government's ambitions to reduce the island's vulnerability to climate change. The European Union therefore stands as a ready partner to support St. Lucia's progressive national climate agenda to chart the way forward in addressing these challenges. We look forward to the long-awaited opening of this link road, to the start of the work at the PI Bridge, and to our continued partnership in the future towards building back better. Parliamentary Representative for Ancillary Canaries and Minister in the Ministry of Finance, Economic Development and Youth Economy, Honorable Wayne Girard, says the link road will not only improve motorability, but elevate the standard of living for residents. There has been great anticipation for this project. Not only have successive studies by and through the Ministry of Infrastructure highlighted the worsening conditions of the road, the inadequacy of the hydraulic capacity of the drainage infrastructure, climate risk and vulnerabilities. The anecdotes from constituents are very present. The constituents know all too well from their experiences 
what it is to traverse deteriorating road conditions. Through their experience, they have learned that roads are the arteries through which the economy pulses. This road links farmers to the markets, workers to their jobs, students to their schools, and the sick to hospitals. 12.4 kilometers of road will be rehabilitated, directly impacting 400 households. From the Government Information Service, Lisa Joseph reporting.